In this video, I searched the internet and spent over $100 on random fake Lego. Then I compared it with my real Lego to answer the question, is fake Lego legit or is it fricked? Let's find out. Now I know that fake Lego gets a lot of hate in the community, and to be honest with you, it has its pros and cons. One good thing about fake Lego is that it offers a ton of cool themes that the actual Lego company hasn't licensed. For example, if Lego wants to make Indiana Jones sets, they have to contact Disney, do a bunch of legal paperwork in order to get the license to make those Indiana Jones sets. So out of curiosity, I searched the internet for several hours looking for fake Lego themes that the actual Lego company hadn't made. Okay, so I discovered this website called Mercari, and pretty much they sell a lot of fake Lego on this site. Lego Squid Games. Wow, they actually have, you can actually buy Squid Games figs. Okay, I think I actually found something. This one's 50 bucks, and it comes with eight mini figs, and it also comes with a ton of building sets. We're gonna buy it, honestly. Please give this video a like right now, so I'm not broke. After waiting a week, the mailman had it delivered. So it was time to unbox and put together. Since I'm not getting paid to review this, I can really be honest. But what I have to say isn't really bad. First off, the boxes, beautiful graphics. The bags didn't come in the boxes though, I think just to make the shipping cheaper. But whoever designed these sets definitely put most of their focus into the minifigs. The looks are super accurate. The printing is really super well done. But once you start moving the arms and the limbs, it's super stiff and you can just kind of feel the cheapness and the quality. But the glossiness kind of compensates for it, makes these minifigs really clean and polished up. With the minifigs comes a little bit of like some brick built stuff. Definitely not that amazing. There's only one tree in the show and they gave me three. But they did include some of the guns and a few printed pieces. Was this worth 50 bucks? Uh, I don't think so. Is the set legit or is it fricked? For the accurate detailed minifigs and for the nice box, I give this a nice juicy thumbs up. Pretty legit set to be honest. Let's move to the next one. I want to find something ridiculous, like obviously fake. So far I'm already seeing a lot of stuff. Ooh, the name of this company is Stax, and this is a hybrid glowing dinosaur toy with light and sound. Honestly, sounds pretty cool. It's only 18 bucks. I mean, sure, it's a super basic build, but I'm really curious to hear what this sounds like and what it looks like. I mean, look how happy these kids are. They look like they love this set. You know, I'll probably be the same. <laughs> Wait, why don't you put me on the cover? Okay, so, frick it. I'm gonna buy this dinosaur. So now we just wait again. After a few more days, it came in the mail. At a first glance, this set actually looks pretty legit. I'm pretty sure this is the brick with the sound in it. So honestly, from first looks, it's cute. I intentionally kept this plastic tab in here because I'm pretty sure if I pull it, it's gonna start making noise. So the moment of truth, let's pull it. Here we go. Wait, nothing. I mean, I followed the instructions. Oh wait, you see that? See, it's lighting up, what the heck? Dang, that was a big disappointment. After several more minutes of trying, it just did not work. The door that the battery goes into would not open. No lights, no sound, just a basic brick-built dinosaur. Just to make this dinosaur seem cool, I guess, here's some dinosaur sound. <laughs> I feel like if the lights and the sound actually worked, I would give this a huge juicy thumbs up. Unfortunately, I'm just gonna have to say this thing is bricked. Sorry. Anyway, next product. Okay guys, another theme that LEGO isn't licensed to make is Fortnite. So I went on Mercari and searched for fake LEGO Fortnite and I found quite a bit of stuff. But I found this right here. It says it's sold because your boy bought it. But it comes with 11 minifigures and they're all based off of characters from the game. But we're not going to truly be able to see the quality of these minifigures until we get them. So let's do that. So 
in total, I spent around $30 on all 11 minifigs. Honestly, I have to say, some of these are very clean looking. Compared to the video game characters, these do look pretty accurate. There are a couple minifigs, though, where the molding and printing just looks really cheap. And also, some of the accessories aren't even plastic. Like, this gun is literally metal. Something I found really funny, I took the headpiece off of this minifig, and oh my goodness, you have a really weird looking double chin Bruh. minifig face. But I guess they had to do it just so that the eyes, like, fit properly, but oh well. Is this legit or fricked? Honestly, I'm on the fence with this one. If you're looking at the quality of the figs, I'd have to say this is kind of fricked, but if you're a Fortnite fan and you're looking for the nostalgia and just for some cool looking figs, I'd have to say this is pretty legit, but I'll let you guys decide. Let me know in the comments. I definitely plan to do a part two, so if you have any recommendations on funny, weird, interesting fake Lego sets, comment below. Give this video a like as well because I did spend money. I did have a lot of fun reviewing all these sets. Stay spicy, y'all, and peace out. Woo! Get ready to rock and roll! Like and subscribe! Like and subscribe! Like and subscribe! Like and subscribe! Like, subscribe! Like, subscribe!